Uh, now, obviously, uh, back to the league this weekend. Uh, Rob's been in here a few minutes ago, and uh, he was talking about Worcester. And important, obviously, you know, they're in tenth in the table, but uh, they're a very competitive side this season, aren't they? Yeah, hugely competitive. I think we've done a fair bit of analysis on them, and you know, they work extremely hard for each other. Um, they've got a good set piece, um, you know, and they've they've competed in every game they've been in it. So, um, I think the important thing for us is is making sure that Sunday's out of our system um, and we're back into the Premiership now um, and we're proud of where we are in the Premiership at the minute and we want to kick on so um, <clears throat> it's all about sort of getting back on the horse and just saying right that's done now we're really proud of that but let's move on because I think you know a week in this, in this game can make all the difference and, you know we don't want to suddenly be sat here on Monday thinking oh you know we obviously didn't have, didn't have that game out of our system so it's important to reset and make sure we're putting a good shift up in Worcester. Uh, and they're a team you know well, obviously the, their premiership status is something that's very important to them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, they fight very hard for it and um, you know, that, you know, they want to be in the premiership for, for many years to come, I think. So um, we know that and you know, we know it's going to be a, a tough old test for us going up there. And uh, we know it's going to be hostile and it's going to be aggressive and physical. Um, and hopefully we can stamp our game in there early. Uh, um, normally, most seasons... You know, these games sort of come in blocks and then there's a break off the LV or whatever, but uh, you've got a, quite a long continuous run coming up, haven't you? Yeah, though, I mean, to be honest, we haven't, we haven't spoken a huge amount about it because, you know, you can, you can sit back and, and start thinking, oh, we've got ten games in a row, this sort of thing, and I think it's completely the wrong way to do it. So, you know, we've, we're looking at Worcester and that's that, really. Because there is a very big game looming up immediately afterwards, isn't there, against Saracens? Yeah, there is, yeah. But, you know, as I say, we haven't, we haven't even spoken about Saris. You know, we know the threats that Worcester pose, and it'll be massively disrespectful to start talking about Saracens before we get Worcester out of the way. Thank you. Is Worcester, oh, sorry, Nigel, is, is it a different Worcester side to previous years now? Do you think Dean Ryan has finally got his stamp on things up there now, Kai? And I think so. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't know too much really, but it's certainly by the, by the way they're playing, um, you know, they seem very well drilled, they're well organised, um, there's a plenty of structure there, so it certainly seems like it. Um, but, you know, as I say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know too much. As you say, though, it's the proverbial banana skin. After such a great result last week, everyone's expecting the Chiefs to go up there and it makes it doubly hard for you guys to, to go into the game, probably. Uh, yeah, in a, in a certain sense, I suppose. But, you know, it, it, it could be, we could be playing anyone, you know, after, after a big performance like that when things got turned on its head and we probably we came out of it with something that we didn't necessarily expect. Um, emotions were high. And I think we, it, whoever we're playing this weekend... It's, you've got to be really disciplined and professional about resetting, really. And I think we are, and I think we've, we've worked really hard on it, and we've learned from previous years about it. So um, I'd like to think we're, we're in a good frame of mind to go up there. And Rob's talked about the last few weeks in particular, rotating the squad and people taking a chance. You're, you're a prime example of that. People like Johnny Hill as well. There's a real hunger amongst this group at the moment to, to drive each other on more than anything. Yeah, I think, there are, you know, I think we've, got a, we've got a really strong squad. And um, competition places is, is really good, you know, and it, might give Rob headaches, but that's a good, that's a good place to be as a squad. And you know, everyone's, you know, as you say, everyone's really itching and fighting to get spots in the, in the team. And um, it's great, it's great for us in total, really.